Okay, oh my god, just when I thought I've heard it all, here we go again. Um, I'm not going to get to sleep much uh, the next few weeks, I think. Uh, Aaron Burnett, um, I want you to listen to your exact words, okay? Alright, because you know what, I'm tired of people saying, I didn't say that. But that's that's just, you know... Of course, CNN, USA, okay? So I'm getting tired of, like, Jim Acosta, you know? I've never said that. Jim, man, I got you. Like, fucking dead to rights. You're done. You're, you know, your history. I did that one little video. Just, just to fucking, you know, you're done. Your your career is over as we fucking, like, it's the end of Jim Acosta as we know it. Okay? Now, Aaron Burnett, um... While you're at home doing uh, eight ball after eight ball of uh, Peruvian flake, I'm sure you are, I need you to listen to your exact words. Up front next, President Trump bragging about finding the magic wand to create manufacturing jobs. On the same day, General Motors slashes more than 14,000 jobs. Plus, the president says tear gas wasn't used on children at the southern border. The pick Now, first of all, First of all, uh, Aaron, you have now entered the fiery pits of hell. Welcome to the devil's advocate. I am your tormentor for life as of right now. My name is Robert Kane. You know, <clears throat> Aaron, it's funny you, 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 you say, first of all, um, that, you know, he's boasting of, of jobs when GM just recently cut a whole bunch of, uh, cut about 14,000 jobs. <sighs> Did you not hear it correctly? He is urging GM to come back from Mexico, you fucking mamaluk. Okay? Let me, let me, and in case you want to doubt this, in case you want to doubt this, Aaron, you want to doubt this, right? Okay. I know you will. You'll challenge anything and everything. That's what you journalists do. So let me just, now, but you're the one that fucking said it. You're the one that fucking said it, not me, okay? So you said, you basically said, see, this is the problem, is that a lot of you are losing your press passes. <laughs> so you guys are just fucking, once upon a time, you know, fucking, by the way, uh, Aaron, I'll be making a very special video uh, totally cutting that broadcast uh, to shit and making you look like a complete fucking idiot. Now, Aaron, Aaron Burnett, I want you to listen to the exact words, okay? And just to let you know, look, I'm on the White House. Okay, White House. This is all White House stuff. Okay, for all the viewers at home, this is all stuff that comes directly from the, from the White House, okay? Look, okay, this is all stuff from the White House. Yes, I'm on the White House's channel, okay? Yes, look, the White House actually has a YouTube. Donald also has Twitter. Uh, I don't think he has, he has a Facebook page, doesn't respond to it at all. Um, he hates the fucking media, 90% um, of you anyway, uh, and with good fucking reason. Um, now, again, Aaron, excuse me, I'm doing this on a pad while I talk to you from my, Aaron, you just said, he bragged about, bragged about jobs when GM just canned 14,000 people and he denied using gas. I hope you're ready to eat those fucking words, okay? Here we go. So I think you're going to see something else happen there, but... 
good. We're not happy about it at all. Not at all. We've let our position be known, and we're not happy about it. What, what will the response be? What will the response be? Well, Mexico wants to know. Mexico wants to see if uh, they can get it straightened out. But we've, uh, during certain times, as you know, closed the border. They're not coming into the United States. They will not be coming into our country. They will not be. They will not be. We, the people. Well, we don't like it. Uh, I believe they'll be opening up something else. And uh, we were, I was very tough. I spoke with her when I heard they were closing. And I said, you know, this country's done a lot for General Motors. You better get back in there soon. That's Ohio. And you better get back in there soon. So we have a lot of pressure on them. You have senators. You have a lot of other people. A lot of pressure. They say the uh, Chevy Cruze is not selling well. I say, Chevy. well, then get somebody, get a car that is selling well and put it back in. I'm going to play it again extra loud. We have a lot of pressure on them. You have senators, you have a lot of other people, a lot of pressure. I heard they were closing. And I said, you know, this is uh, we I was very tough. I spoke with her when I heard they were closing. And I said, you know, this country's done a lot for General Motors. You better get back in there soon. That's Ohio. Okay. There's, he never, even in this address, Aaron, He actually said, kind of along the lines of what you're assuming, but then of course you made up the fact, because that's what fake news does. So I'll be putting US, USA News today on my fake news page. Don't worry about it, we'll, we'll get to you. Um, and it's exactly, there you have it. He's not bragging about anything. He's saying, hey, we've done a lot for you guys. Get back to fucking Ohio where you belong. Oh, the cruise isn't selling. Well, make a damn car that does. Personally, I'm a huge Camaro fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge Camaro fan. The Z28, make a classic remodel of it. Put it on the fucking market. You know, it would sell like hotcakes. I know a fucking half a million people will buy one off the hop. You know, the bottom fucking line is, again, and... You want to uh, talk about the denying of use of gas. Well, okay, here. You know what? That's exactly what you said, right? That Trump denied using gas. Aaron Burnett, you are a fucking idiot. Obviously, while President Trump was live on the White House feed. Like, you guys can't get your fucking press passes anymore because they'll just kick you to the fucking curb. <laughs> um, what happens is they're at the round table discussing the First Step Act, which is an amazing law that is going to be passed. Guess what? Both in favor of the Republicans and, yes... The Democrat elective. Isn't that fucking something? Now, you say that Trump denied out and out that there was gas used. There are reporters in this fucking room at the round table, and I need you to listen. Thank you very much. Thank you for being a benefit. And we're doing that with the help of the, you have the clergy mentioned, you have people to make sure all the different voices are heard, especially everybody in the room has been incredible. And I think what I'll do is I'll uh, finish up with our great vice president conversations, Mr. President, was about uh, our taking a first step uh, toward uh, change their minds. I mean, my mind was never made up one way or the other. My mind was just on very strong law and order. But this is actually a part that we'll be voting. Is there anything, sir, that you can do uh, to negotiate with McConnell? Can you, do you have leverage in any way? And as you can well, do, see, if you didn't hear that part, by the way, I'm going to get to what I'm speaking of. Donald Trump and the reporters asking, is there any way, you know, you guys are going to be able to come to the table? 
Listen to this fucking response, airhead. I don't need leverage. Look, he's a friend of mine. He's a really good guy. And I honestly, I think he believes in this also. And he wants to make sure, like I do too. I want to make... He's a Democrat, by the way, you fucking loon. Okay. So, here we go. Make sure we have the votes. But we, we look in Georgia where the governor has been speaking about it. Thank you for the question. If the votes are there, do you want the Senate to stay dangerous to the police and to uh, the Border Patrol and all of the people, including we have ICE there. We have ICE there. Normally, we'd, they'd be in other sections, and right now they're on the border. Uh, but we've had some very violent people, and we don't want, frankly, we don't want those people in our society. We don't want those people in our country. But we had tremendous violence. Uh, three Border Patrol people yesterday were very badly hurt. That's right. Through getting hit with rocks and stones. That's right. And if you look at the Mexican... And tell me something, Aaron. What about the reports on, on adults grabbing children and pretty much almost shielding themselves with children? Hmm? And what about the people attacking both uh, Mexican officials and, and, and uh, its very own people and, and, and U.S. officials? U.S. law enforcement. Any concern for them and their families? Aaron Burnett, you fucking loon. Listen, listen here, you stupid fucking loon. Mexican police who have been fighting very hard. And, you know, don't forget, 95% uh, of it's taking place, and more than that is taking place in Mexico, on the Mexican side. And we just said, look, if they come over here, we're going we're gonna to apprehend them and we're going to close the border. That's not really been done to the extent that I'm doing it because I mean it's it true. and I'll close it for a long time and as far as trade is concerned that's okay because Mexico frankly has uh, done very well with trade and the United States so uh, this isn't just happening uh, by luck something's happening We've done a very good job but a lot of in our country we don't want it okay you mentioned the rough people you mentioned the criminals but how did you feel when you saw the images of the women to be formed and they're running up with a child and in some cases you know they're not the parents these are people they go there we go and Aaron Aaron what about this listen to this yeah I mean I have to start off first of all the tear gas is a very minor form of the tear gas itself there uh, it's very safe the ones there there it is right there so there it is there is, there is the arrow. There is my. There is the arrow that just stuck you in the fucking eye. Listen to this. Country, and we're keeping it in Mexico, and Mexico's done a very good job. But a lot of the law enforcement people from Mexico have been very seriously injured. They've been badly hurt. You saw what happened uh, yesterday. If you look at Tijuana where not only the mayor, but a lot of the people who were interviewed say, hey, these are rough people. You start talking to them and they punch you in the face. We don't want that in our country. We don't want it, okay? You mentioned the rough people, you mentioned the criminals, but how did you feel when you saw the images of the women and children running from the tear gas? Well, I do say, why are they there? I mean, I have to start off. First of all, the tear gas is a very minor form of the tear gas itself. And by the way... It's very safe. The ones that were suffering to a certain extent were the people that... We're putting it out there, but it's very safe. But you really say, why is a parent By the way, running okay. up into an area where they know the tear gas is forming and it's going to be Aaron formed Burnett. and they're running up with a child? Aaron and Burnett. In some cases, you know, they're not the parents. These are people Aaron that call them grabbers. Burnett. They grab a child. Because Aaron Burnett reported that Donald Trump denied the use of tear, tear gas. He's admitting it right there. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You, Aaron Burnett, are a crack smoking, <laughs> BBC sucking fucking idiot. Fake news. I'm making a special video especially for you. Especially for you. I'm going to actually send, 
uh, yeah, copy too. It was a little bit of promo vid I did for my new channel, which has uh, some pretty, yeah, pretty funny shit in it. See how long you fucking last with a job after this video. Cheers. Welcome to the Devil's Advocate. You've just been gored.